Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to give a quick um, explanation of what you guys are going to see for your graphing. Um, so this is an example of one question. You are going to choose one of the three options, okay? Um, if you choose the easy one, you can get a max of six out of 10. If you choose the middle one, you can get a max of eight out of 10. If you choose the hard one, you obviously can get the full 10 points. <coughs> Remember, you're choosing one for each of the three, oh, each of the six problems. You do not have to choose the same level for each problem. If in one you choose C, for number two you might choose level B, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to do the same level for each question. Now, why did I do this? Well, because I'm grading a lot harder. There is a phase shift here. If you mess up the phase shift and your graph is completely wrong, then you will not get, you might only get, if it's worth 10 points and your graph is completely wrong, you may only get six points out of 10. So if you really struggle with phase shift, then maybe choose level B and um, that way it doesn't have a phase shift and you can probably get the whole thing right and you get eight points. Okay, um, if you struggle with phase shift and you struggle with period change and you have an issue with labeling and all that kind of stuff, then maybe you go with level A because if you mess up the period and you mess up the increments and you mess up your graph, then again, you may only get four or maybe five points out of this, maybe less depending on how bad it is. <clears throat> but so if you struggle with that part of it, then maybe you go with this and yeah, you're only going to get six points, but six is better than the two or three or four that you would get out of this if you screw it all up. Okay. So choose wisely. Remember you're choosing one for each question.